Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss about uh, the Copilot usage in Power Pages. So, Copilot is a you know AI feature that we can integrate in our Power Platform ecosystem. So, first you have to check whether your environment is uh, enabled for using Copilot or not. So, go to your admin center in uh, admin center environment. Now here you can check the region. If your region is United States, then you can use Copilot, right? Otherwise, you cannot at this moment. Now let us go to your Power Pages editing studio, and here you can add some sections and you can add some images, right? You can add contents. Now you can take help of the Copilot extension to generate content. For example, let's say I have taken two sections here on this page and first section will display an image using stock images which is directly integrated with uh, the uh, power pages now this image will be downloaded and displayed as an image on first section and next section i want to display a text block uh, which will be generated by copilot i don't want to write anything but i will tell copilot to describe some content for me uh, for example Let's say I want some content related to uh, the school information. Okay, so I can write down here. Let's say describe or explain something. Whatever you just want to give some uh, keyword or some suggestion here, uh, so that the AI or Copilot AI will generate a description for you. So let's say sample text for school business. Uh, school business. Then click on send. Now it will try to send the message to the copilot engine and it will suggest some paragraph for you and you can use the length option to make it shorter or uh, longer you can use tone professional casual then you can click on add page once you click on add page the copilot will add your add your content into your page so without you know much effort you can generate related content using copilot help and artificial intelligence help so that you can quickly build your power pages website with the, uh, uh, sample content right and also in addition to this content generation you can take help of copilot to generate forms so let us add a new uh, column new section one column section and use a form i want to tell copilot to create a form of my choice now once you click on form component you can describe your requirement here in this box and once you type down here let's say i want a student registration form uh, to be displayed on the power page so i just put the student registration form and click send so it will generate a form for me i can modify that form uh, according to my need but ai will generate a form by taking your suggestion uh, so that you do not need to start your form from scratch it will create the table for you it will create columns for you and create a form for you and attach your form on the power page you see this is the form that is generated but if you don't want some fields you can remove it and if you want additional field you can edit the uh, description and regenerate it right so once you click ok the form will be created in database in dataverse the entity or table form and columns all will be created for you and the entity form will be created as a basic form in power pages and attached here in the page now you understand how quickly i created a form of my choice generated by the copilot with less effort no need to go to dataverse to create the entity create the columns create the form it will automatically do it for you that's the usage of uh, copilot extension for power pages and a lot more uh, copilot features are coming to power pages you can use later on but you can take help of copilot uh, at this moment to generate forms and to generate content in power pages i hope you understand let us preview and see how it works so if you preview you see the image is rendering from stock images and if you scroll down you see you don't have a permission file 
because every basic hub need a permission if you do not provide permission it cannot be accessible let's give a permission called as anonymous permission so that anyone can see this click on add role and choose anonymous user normally you should not use anonymous users it should you should provide a proper web role but for this demo purpose i'm just using anonymous so that i can see the form how it renders now let us preview this and see how it works now the form will be loaded because i have given anonymous access to the form that is generated by the ai or copilot and now it will refresh and load the fresh content from the server now if you scroll down you will see the student registration form that is generated by the copilot and interestingly if you want to change anything in this form you can go to the uh, data verse table which is created newly because of the copilot and edit whatever you want to edit the columns and the uh, form everything you can change so this is the copilot student form table which is created and the name is copilot student registration and the form is also created and columns are also created and you can edit that. i hope you enjoyed this video thanks guys if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel for more technical content bye everyone